read uh, recently that you said that every role is a growing and a sort of a catharsis for you and you're always learning from things. So yeah. what came from the impossible? Well, I mean, it's just obviously about the tsunami, but inside of that story was this really beautiful, intimate t storytelling of the family and, mm -hmm. and um, how important family is. And, the need to survive and who we need to survive for. And the whole family said, well, would you could, they could, you know, give permission for him to tell a story as so long as he made a film that was telling everybody's story, everyone who was there, everyone who lived and everyone who died. And in a way, I think that's what he's done. He's meant by focusing on one family, you really are telling everybody's story, really. Did you have an opportunity to talk to the real life Lucas after yeah. everyone seen the film? What did he think? Mm. We're really close friends. I mean, we spent like five months in Thailand with each other and stuff like that. I said at the beginning of the film, before we even started shooting, that my main goal is to do him justice and to play him as closely as to himself as I can. Yeah. And then in Toronto, he said, you, you did it. You, you did what you said you were going to do. And thank you. And for me, that was like the, the best achievement I've ever achieved in my life. What would you guys do when you were just hanging out? It depends. I mean, like, when we were in Toronto, we were mixing with stars and stuff, and, like, we were like, oh, it's Jennifer Lawrence. Come on, man, let's go and introduce ourselves. And, like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it always opened with the line that this guy survived the tsunami and is a doctor, so that was our, like, introduction. <laughs> That's, like, the best in with I know. chicks and he's, ever. like, so good-looking as well. He's, nice. like, like six... Yeah, he's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, <laughs> I hope I grow up to be him, basically. All my friends are like, yeah, good luck with that, Tom. In such a heavy film, subject-wise, did you guys have lighter moments together offset that helped yeah. offset that? We did. On the weekends, we would gather in this lovely beach bar called Memories, and that's where we, as a crew and a cast, spent our weekends. It was cool. And it's called Memories because the guy who owned it lost seven members of his family. Um, and so he was basically trying to rebuild his life, and, and we have we made great friends with them. I'm scared. One life. I'm scared too. Naomi Watts, you and McGregor, what, what did they? What'd you come away with? Did they teach you something important? Hmm. I think the most important thing that I learned from those two is the fact that on set everyone is a team. You're working together to create a film. You're not working to create a performance for yourself. Um, so. If Naomi wasn't on screen, she would give it 100% to help me give a better performance and vice versa. Even if I wasn't on set, I was like, this is what Naomi did. Naomi's amazing, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> you went through a lot for this movie. And the thing that really got me, though, was that you're, you're strapped into this thing and the, the result is unbelievable, but there was real garbage? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't straight out of the trash can. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have to worry about it too much. But yeah, some things were made because obviously the weight would, would be um, wrong if it was hitting you in the head. Uh, if it was like a real can of something right. or a, a real piece of wall, or, a sure. tree. Um, so yes, things were made. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was incredibly difficult those those weeks in the water. It was Ooh. physically the most demanding thing I've ever done. But every time you got to the point where you felt like I've had enough, I can't do any more, you know, wanting to complain, you 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 remember this. Remember what they went through. Sister, Lucas, can't help people. You're good at it. Uh, you have to have heard like there are rumblings that you deserve Academy. You know, you deserve nominations and yeah. awards. But I just wondered if you. Had, had a choice between a Golden Globe or an Academy Award for self-defense purposes. Which do you okay. think you could would pack a more bigger wall up? I would go with an Oscar, because they've got that big bottom, don't they? And you could hold it upside <laughs> down, and it would be like a hammer. And apparently Perfect. they're really heavy as well. It's so just elegant and beautiful. I agree. Elegant mm. and deadly. Yeah, yeah. Silent <laughs> but deadly.